just sitting here. No, it's freezing in here. I'll just sit by make coffee. Okay, keep it check. Nikki, Nikki likes it on 60. I'm not four times yet. No, it is warm in here, though. No, it's not. Shut up. It's only 74. A rebate. Oh, we got a rebate? From my part time shit. Oh. I didn't check on that. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to call the February 1st, 2021 <coughs> Crest Hill City Council meeting to order. If everyone would please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, and if everyone would please remain standing after the pledge. Unfortunately, the city of Crest Hill lost a very well-known and a very well-respected resident. Uh, John Lukancic passed away on January 20th, 2021. John served his country as he was a veteran of the United States Army, serving as a medic in the Korean War. He served this church. He was a lifelong member of St. Joseph's Church of Joliet where he was a very active and well-respected individual. He served on many boards and committees for the church. He actually was responsible for putting together a museum of the school, which closed about 15 years ago. And he was very, well, he was very much involved in the renovation, renovations of the church. He served this community 34 years in the Valley View School District, starting out as a teacher, and working his way up, and many of his final years, he was superintendent. He retired after 34 years in 1994, and the Valley View School District honored him by renaming one of the schools John Lukansic Middle School. He served this community in the city of Crest Hill. He was a member of our Crest Hill Civil Service Commission serving from December 21st, 2009, until he resigned on March 7th, 2018, as his health was starting to fail. Ironically, his wife, Anna May, passed away three months prior, who was also well-respected and well-known in our city, was our soloist singer for all of our Veterans Day or Memorial Day ceremonies uh, here at the city of Crest Hill. Leaves behind his daughter Kathy and son Tom and many grandchildren. We certainly want to honor John tonight, thank him for his service to his country, his service to his community, and his service to his, his church. And I would ask for a moment of silence in honor of John Lukansic for his many years of service. Thank you. <coughs> Roll call, please. Ray Salomon. Here. Glenn Conklin. Present. Scott Dyke. Here. John Brache. Here. Barbara Scalier. Here. Claudia Gazal. Here. Tina Oberlin. Present. Marco Politi Petro. Here. Nate Albert. Here. Joe Kubal. Here. Okay, uh, we do not have a business promotion this evening. Um, you do have before you the minutes of the virtual city council meeting, which was held on January 18th, 2021. Motion will be in order. Still moved. Second. We have motion by Alderman Woman Sclair, seconded by Alderman Cole Di Pietro for the approval of the uh, minutes of the virtual meeting held on January 18th, 2021. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Joe Kubo? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Scott Day? Yes. Jennifer Shea? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Barbara Scalaire? Yes. Marco Coley Petro? Yes. Motion carries. You also have before you the minutes of the virtual meeting, which was the virtual work session, which was held on January 25th, 2021. Motion will be in order. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Coley Di Pietro, seconded by Alderman Gazal for the approval of the virtual meeting minutes of the work session held on January 25th, 2021. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Scott Day? Yes. John Brichet? Yes. 
Barbara Scalier. Yes. Tina Oberlin. Yes. Nate Albert. Yes. Joe Kubo. Yes. Claudia Gazal. Yes. Marco Colidi Petro. Yes. Motion carries. And this is the first time we've been live here at City Hall as a group since I believe it was November 20th when uh, the governor ordered everybody to uh, uh, do virtual meetings. So it's great to see everybody back here. Uh, apologize for the seating arrangements, but uh, we will honor the best we can the six foot rule from uh, the governor and the health department. Moving along on our agenda items, our city administrator, Heather McGuire. Good evening, Heather. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Nice to see everybody. Uh, I have one item before you on tonight's agenda, and that is a resolution awarding grants under the Small Business Grant Program. As discussed at last week's work session, the resolution that was approved in November regarding the Small Business Grants, we had five applicants, and inadvertently one applicant was left out of last week's work discussion, but they, work session discussion, but they did meet all the qualifications as well. So they are being included on this grant. The five Applicants before you are Carnitas Don Rafa, Gusto's Bar and Grill, La Michoacana, Revamp Nutrition, and Crest Hill Lanes and Kegler's Pub. And per the discussion, we are suggesting that they each be awarded $5,000. So I'm seeking approval on that this evening. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Alderman McGazal, seconded by Alderman Dyke. And this was discussed at length uh, last Monday evening at our work session. Um, questions or comments in regards to the motion? Yeah, just to uh, to go over what we went in the work session, uh, we are going to allow another round. Yep, I'm going to go over that information after this one's approved. Okay, you are? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Roll call, please. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Marco Cola Petro? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Joe Kubo? Yes. Barbara Scalier? Yes. John Brache? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution number is 1089. Thank you, and uh, to Alderwoman Gazal's question, we will be opening up the grants for a second round of applications. Those applications will be due February 28th. The current application is available on the website. We are asking all of those applicants to email the completed applications to the city's web admin email address. We will continue doing outreach via Facebook as well as letters to all of the businesses in the upcoming days and through the rest of this month so we can continue to promote that as much as possible. So anybody else that can share that information, it's certainly appreciated. Um, the second item is, as the mayor mentioned, we are back. City Hall has been open now for a couple weeks, but if anybody is still more comfortable using our white drop box, we do continue to check that multiple times a day, and most of the city's business can be conducted through that drop box if you do feel more comfortable. But we are open to the public if anybody does have any questions. So the informational report is on file. We are still finalizing the uh, work session topics for next week, but with that, I will entertain any questions. Questions of city administrator. I just want to go back to, I'm sorry, if like I keep going sure. over this over and over. Um, I also stated in the work session about if we can uh, open this to the family outreach. Um, so I, I will have a letter prepared from our legal counsel regarding that exact issue for next work session so we okay. can re review Because they the are topic. listed under corporation, like. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over the entirety. Okay. I wanted to make sure to have the full legal opinion to discuss it, but it is on the agenda to be included. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thanks, Heather. Uh, Heather, just wanted to thank you for getting together with me before the meeting with some of my concerns. Yep, absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank thanks. you. Okay, moving along, Public Works Department, our Interim Director of Public Works, Mark Seifert. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I have no agenda items for you for under consideration today. I do want to thank all the residents uh, who, um, we, we did notice uh, a lot less cars on the road during the snow event. Uh, it was nice. The guys do really appreciate less cars out there. Um, all the guys do appreciate all the well wishes that you know they see it, that uh, all the other women uh, sends me that they see on Facebook. So the guys are very appreciative of it. Uh, they did do a, a lot of plowing this weekend, and with the snow that we had, uh, it's a long duration with a real wet, heavy snow. Um, it, it does take a whole team effort. We had two shifts of guys. Uh, we plowed starting at 5 p.m. Saturday. Uh, they finally went home around 11 o'clock Sunday night. Um, so I, I just want to thank everyone for the well wishes and also for the residents who did move cars off. Um, we will be cleaning up a little bit today. To, we cleaned up today. We'll be cleaning up a little bit more tomorrow uh, before the deep freeze sets in later this week. So any residents who do still have their cars on the road, 
please do move them because those big piles of snow will turn into giant ice blocks uh, later this week. Uh, it will be very hard to move them. So if your car is still out there, please do move it so we can get the roads completely cleared before the deep freeze sets in. Uh, with that, I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Questions of Public Works? Just another compliment. I mean, it's, I know I've bothered you a lot yesterday. I want to thank <laughs> you again. Um, I know the resident, they get kind of like frustrated, but this was a big storm. I mean, we didn't have one or two inches. It was like almost 11 inches, I think, yep. we got. So I want to thank you for your hard work and so as the, the rest of the crew. Thank so you very much. Thank you again. Okay, thanks, Mark. I see it's it's heading to East Coast tonight, so uh, they have uh, about 18 or about 36 hours of it, what we had. So, but the gentlemen uh, from both crews, they did a fantastic job. The streets always look well in Crest Hill, so thank you very much. Uh, moving on to Community Development Department, uh, Maura Ragoni is here tonight to give us a little short report. Maura. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I'd just like to, there's no agenda item right now for this, but there's just uh, three items that I'd like to highlight. Some new businesses that we've had, some business licenses, as well as upcoming plan commission. Um, last Friday, January 28th, Chicken Shack did open up on 20641 Runwick Drive, just east of Weber Road. It has carryout as well as some limited seating. They are specializing in wings, fish, and shrimp. So that's a new business. Also, Rides Unlimited, they just re issued a business license. This is an existing business in the city, and they uh, have opened up another facility on 1911 Plainfield Road. Their sales is for used cars as well. Upcoming on the Plan Commission in February, we have uh, quality trucking and repair. They're before the Plan Commission for a public hearing for a plan unit development. They are proposing um, truck storage, uh, trailer and chassis storage, as well as in minor repairs. Um, we've been working with the applicant to address some of the items that were discussed at work sessions, as well as in preparing for the public hearing that will occur on February 10th. Um, that is all I have this evening, if there's any questions. Any questions of Maura? Okay, and, and Maura, just for a point of, uh, um, the 1911 right now was all the vehicles that were moved from their Plainfield location. So they are still, they do, do have two um, businesses in the city of Crest Hill now. Correct. The long-term plan is to merge them all together into one here. Mm -hmm. going that was forward. my understanding and speaking right. with staff today. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you. Thanks, Maura. Okay, um, Police Department, Police Chief Ed Clark. Good evening, Ed. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, I do not have any uh, items on the agenda this evening. I uh, just wanted to piggyback on what Mr. Seifert said. Um, we were out, unfortunately, giving people tickets for parking uh, on the street, and I just would urge people now, if you still have your car out there, get it off the road as soon as you can, because if we have to, we may have to tow some of these vehicles, and that's not something we'd like to do. So um, just giving everybody for a warning on that, and uh, I would entertain any questions. Questions of the police chief? I'm just happy to see on Heather's report there's 47 tickets were given last snowfall. 45 this weekend. 45 this weekend, good. Chief, um, I've noticed a couple vehicles that are, have never moved through any of the snows we've had yet with plowing. Okay. And if you want, I'll get together with you after the meeting and let you know the locations. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Not a problem. Because, you know, they're just sitting there, and I've noticed through all the snows, they've never moved. And now with all this big snow, and they're still sitting there, it's even more obvious, but they have never moved these vehicles through all the snow plowings. Absolutely. So, no we problem. need to get those towed then, since they evidently tickets don't affect them. No problem. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks, Ed. Thank you. Uh, Mayor's report. Uh, information is in your packet. I will be uh, trying to answer any questions that anyone may have. Uh, moving on, City Clerk's report. Our City Clerk, Vicki Hackney. Good evening, Vic. Good evening. Mayor Council, I have no items on the agenda this evening. Any questions of the clerk's office, I'd be happy to answer. Questions of city clerk. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. Uh, city Treasurer's report, our Treasurer Glenn Conklin. Good evening, Glenn. Good evening, Ray Solomon, <laughs> and good evening, Council. I'd like to report our regular and overtime payroll from January 4th, 2021 through January 17th of 2021 in the amount of $216,120 and 44 cents. Uh, in addition to that, the same time frame was our uh, payroll comp time buyback in the amount of $39,013.17. 
The only uh, item requiring action is I seek your approval on our list of bills, which from uh, January 4th through the 17th of this year totaled $358,000. Six hundred fifty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents. So moved. So moved. Second. We have motion by Alder Wendell and seconded by Alder Wendell Square for the approval of the list of bills. Questions or comments from council? Roll call, please. Nate Albert. Yes. Joe Kubal. Yes. Margot Colody Petro. Yes. Claudia Gazal. Yes. John Vache. Yes. Scott Dyke. Yes. Barbara Scalier. Yes. Tina Oberlin. Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> I thank you all. I'll entertain any questions, if you have. Any questions of city treasurer? Well, thank you and good Thanks, night. Thanks, Glenn. Moving on to unfinished business. We have nothing on the agenda. Anyone? New business. We have case SU-20-7-12-1 the request of Cardinal Vision Homes, LLC, to rezone the property at 2385 Jury Court from B3 to B3 Special Use. You do have all the information in your packet. This was discussed uh, at length in last weekend's, or last Monday night's virtual meeting. Uh, I will turn it over to our Interim Community Development Director, Maura Rigoni, for some opening comments and review of this case. Maura? Thank you, Mayor and Council. Yes, the property proposed is at 2385 Jury Court and there before the council this evening for approval is a special use permit um, for a proposed assisted living home on the property. The property is currently zone B3 and according to the zoning ordinance it does require a special use. They were before the plan commission, there was much discussion regarding some um, site plan issues as well as um, emergency vehicle access. We have worked with the applicant as well as um, the fire department to ensure that they did address those concerns as well. And we did speak about this at the work session and the work session uh, plan that you did receive is that reflecting of the revisions that the fire department was in agreement to as well. Um, so the concerns that were at the plan commission have since been addressed. Um, as I said, they are seeking for a special use approval for an assisted living home on the property. For um, At this time, they're proposing 14 beds. Okay. okay. Any questions from City Council for more? Okay. I know we have uh, some representatives here from Cardinal Vision Homes. I will ask if anyone would like to address City Council with any comments. No, Mary. Please come to the podium. Just state your name, just state your name, uh, your business uh, I'm address. I'm Scott Huminski, uh, one of the owners of Cardinal Vision Homes. Um, thank you for having us tonight, Mayor and Council. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just here to see what happens. I mean, it's, uh, okay, any, I will ask if yeah, any Council has any questions of Scott representing Cardinal Vision Homes. No, just kind of like what I said last week, thank you for making those alterations. That was obviously a big concern for the uh, Planning Commission members, and uh, this looks like a real good project moving forward. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Anybody else? You do whatever it takes. Okay. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, sir. I would uh, ask if anyone would, it's okay. Uh, I would ask if anyone uh, would like to speak for or against the petition of uh, let me grab it here cardinal vision homes for a special use permit for a zoning uh change from b3 to b3 special use at the property 2385 jury court please step to the podium state your name for the record your address is optional second request if anyone would like to speak for or against the request of the applicant Cardinal Vision Homes for the property located at 2385 Jory Court for a uh, zoning change from B3 to B3 special use. Please step to the podium, state your name for the record, your address is optional. And a third request, if anyone would like to speak for or against the property rezoning at 2385 Jory Court from B3 to B3 special use to request of Cardinal Vision Homes. Let the record show that no one has approached the podium. Uh, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you have before you an ordinance granting a special use permit to the Crest Hill Zoning Ordinance with respect to certain real property. The petition of Cardinal Vision Homes LLC motion would be in so order. So moved is presented. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Overland, seconded by Alderman Cola DiPietro. 
Uh, questions or comments in regards to the motion? Roll call, please. Claudia Gazelle? Yes. Barbara Scalier? Yes. John Brashe? No. Agreeing with it means you're going to the uh, plan commission denied it. No, Correct? you're voting on the ordinance. Correct, Heather? Correct. You're voting on the ordinance that is before you. So the ordinance says that they denied it. The Order. ordinance contains the language that the plan commission denied it, but the ordinance is actually approving the special use. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, let me change then a yes. A yes? yes? Okay. So noted. Scott Dyke? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Joe Kubo? Yes. Marco Cody Petro? Yes. Tina Oberlin? <coughs> yes. Motion carries. Ordinance number is 1857. Okay, to Scott and Cardinal Vision Homes, welcome to the city of Crest Hill. I think this is going to be a tremendous asset and benefit to the city of Crest Hill for many years to come. I would certainly, on behalf of the city of Crest Hill, we would like to thank you for your cooperation, meeting the needs that the Plan Commission brought forth before you a few weeks prior. Uh, but we, everybody worked cooperatively together and we got to this point. So thank you for that cooperation. Hope we have the same cooperation going forward in the, in the future during the building process and everything else. But again, I think this is gonna be a tremendous benefit to us. I mean, we have 55 and older communities. We do have assisted living in the city. This is gonna be something a little bit different that we don't have. So it's gonna be very nice for all our residents and, and anybody else that would like to join you. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you council. Congratulations. Welcome not only to the city, but to Ward 3. <laughs> be a great addition. Thanks for choosing Crestville. Okay, anybody else with any new business? <clears throat> uh, moving on, committee and liaison reports. Anyone? City Council comments. Positive city council comments, anything you'd like to share with any of your constituents? Anyone like to go first this evening? We'll begin with Ward 1, Alderman Verche. Well, congratulations to <laughs> anyway. <Okay. laughs> and also, the residents, uh, we got some bad weather coming, some more snow, so when you get out there, drive carefully and bundle up and keep the mask on, and hopefully we'll be back to normal one day. <laughs> Alderman Dyke. Yeah, I just want to thank the police department and public works for all they've done with getting our streets cleaned and cleared and appreciate it. All their hard work. Thanks again. War two, Alderwoman Sclair. I just want to stay, uh, stay safe, everyone. And uh, public works, they did a great job. Thank you so much. And since this is our meeting and Valentine's Day will be before our next meeting, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Alderwoman, Alderwoman Guzal. <laughs> I just want to welcome Chicago uh, Chicken Shack um, to um, Crest Hill and to World uh, 2, also Burger Rebellion. Um, I stopped there the other day. Um, very nice owner, very nice crew that they have there. Check out their hamburgers, their shake. Make sure you go on diet after that, but um, beautiful, beautiful stuff that's happening in World 2 so far. So I'm excited. We are excited. We're going to go and eat together. And also welcome. I love your building. Very nice architect and a nice addition to Crest Hill. So welcome. Ward 3, Alderwoman Overland. Yes, once again, welcome to Ward 3 and the city. And I look very much forward to seeing that being built. Very happy to see something like that, not only in our city, but in that area. I think it's a wonderful fit. Um, and I welcome the new restaurants as well. I was at the opening as well. And uh, thank you to Public Works for everything you did, Mark, Heather, and Claudia. I know it was a big team effort. We all pulled together the other day helping out that strip mall. So thank you all. I know um, they much appreciated everything we did. Alderman Nicola de Pietro. Uh, again, welcome to Cardinal Homes to the city. Um, uh, welcome to all the restaurants that opened. We're in War Two. Uh, Claudia, I don't know how you stay so skinny eating at all those places all the time. I clean. <laughs> um, thanks to Public Works again for cleaning all the streets so quickly. Uh, also want to thank some of our my neighbors for helping clean out the, uh, the streets and sidewalks in our neighborhood. Uh, like Todd Randich and Mike Beck, they, they go, go around with the snow blowers. So, um, and who else, whoever else helps in the neighborhoods. It's a, it's a great uh, city. So. City of I should mind. 
my neighborhood. Ward four, Alderman Albert. Uh, welcome to the to the city, and, and thanks again for making those alter, alterations <clears> to the <throat> plan. Um, yeah, hats off to Mark and his department, and the entire you know public works department for a great job. Um, and same thing to you, there, Chief. So everybody have a happy Valentine's Day. Alderman Kubal. Congratulations, Mark and Chief. Good job, and uh, welcome, to Cardinal. Okay, public comment. If anyone would like to address City Council, please step to the podium. Please state your name for the record. Your address is optional. Let the record show that no one has approached the podium. To our City Administrator, Heather McGuire. Heather, is there a need for an executive session? No, there is not, Mayor. Motion to adjourn, Mayor. Second. We have a motion for an adjournment by Alderman Dyke, seconded by Alderman Vershay. Roll call, please. Mr. Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Marco Cody Petro? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Joe Kugel? Yes. John Vershea? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned at 727 p.m. Thank you and good evening and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I love it. <laughs>